Support AMTV right now by visiting the AMTV store at store.amtvmedia.com. Flash sale, 10% off store-wide. Check out our ProPure water filter, specifically check out the ProPure Big. Save big, never buy bottled water again. Enter promo code SAVEAMTV for 10% off your order store-wide. I'm Christopher Green, and you're tuning into AMTV, Alternative Media Television. It is, of course, Monday, October 26, 2015. And the next president of the United States inherits World War III. Whether or not it's Hillary Clinton, Benghazi Gate lying whore, who was giving her testimony on Thursday, who really doesn't give a damn about the individuals that died at Benghazi Gate, the illegal gun trafficking through Benghazi, the NATO-led insurgency and assassination right out in the open of Muammar Gaddafi. I mean, pretty much everything that happens in the Middle East, Hillary Clinton has been responsible for. Hillary, but the next president, whether or not it's Hillary Clinton or it's Donald Trump with his hairpiece blowing in the wind, will inherit the next world war because the Middle East as Trump put, I think, quite eloquently over the weekend, is far worse off today than it was prior to the invasions, the illegal attacks of countries like Iraq and Afghanistan. The Middle East would truly be better off with Saddam Hussein in power, a dictator, nobody's saying he's a good guy, and would certainly be better off also coupled with Muammar Gaddafi. Because the Middle East is now honestly hell's pit. Now, our own government tells us this bullshit on a daily basis with ISIS cutting people's heads off, these barbarians raping women, children, and basically burning villages to the ground. It's an absolute cesspool and a sewer pit as a result of U.S. and Western-led actions. These illegal invasions based on false and faulty intelligence, which really wasn't false in the first place. Of course, our leadership knew that the intelligence was false, but they sold us a lie through the bullshit mainstream media to air these campaigns for various reasons. Even former Prime Minister Tony Blair apologized over the weekend and said he's sorry for basically the erroneous wars in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. There was also an earthquake not too long ago, over the weekend, I think it just happened last night in Afghanistan, killing dozens of people uh, in parts of Asia, as if Americans even give a shit about that. I mean, hasn't Afghanistan been demonized enough? Do you think Americans, latte-drinking, fat-ass Americans, really give a shit about Afghani citizens when we've been taught through the mainstream media bullshit propaganda lying machine that these people are evil. I mean, we're sold that these people aren't even human. They're demonized to us. They are dehumanized to us. Again, we saw this during World War II with Japanese Americans before our government illegally sent them to internment camps. I mean, see, that's how the U.S. government treats you. That's how they treat our veterans. Those of you that fought in Vietnam, those of you that fought in Iraq, those of you that fought in Afghanistan, they whip out their dick and they piss right over your faces. You know, people ask me why we launched a new on-demand service, AMTV On Demand, which gets all of our exclusive videos before they hit YouTube, also additional content, completely ad commercial free, uncensored, unfiltered, is because I can barely air my grievances on camera anymore. I can barely mention Obama and gun control in the same sentence without it being censored. So please tune in to us. Thank you for all your support, the tremendous amount of support we've had already. Those of you that have subscribed on demand, go to amtvmedia.com, get all of our content for $4.95 a month, $49.95 a year, and help us grow. Help me, help us, help AMTV get in front of the faces of these politicians. I don't care if you're the president of the United States or anybody else. We are by, for, and funded 
by the American people and the people around the world that are demanding real alternative media. It's amazing to see how we've grown over the last five years. It's amazing to see what we've done over the years. Our interviews with people like John McCain, catching him with bold-faced lies, telling us that Russia wouldn't act in Syria, and then watching them light up the Middle East as we predicted. Because again, our politicians, folks, are lying scumbags, whether or not they're Republicans or Democrats. None of their sons or daughters, none of Obama's daughters are fighting on the front lines in the Middle East battling ISIS right now. Only you are. Only the little guy. Only the poverty stricken getting their legs and arms blown off. But who's speaking up for you? Who's rising up against this system? You see, the next president of the United States, unfortunately, and I don't want this to happen. I don't want war. I fear it. It's one of the reasons why I started this channel five years ago. The next president, unfortunately, will inherit the greatest war this country has ever seen. The Middle East is far worse off now, just like Trump said over the weekend, than it was before uh, Muammar Gaddafi and leaders like Saddam Hussein were illegally assassinated and killed. I mean, it is an absolute jungle in this part of the world now. But again, this was a part of the campaign. This was a part of Tony Blair in the West and George W. Bush's destabilization effort from the get-go, from the very beginning. Go after that black gold, folks. Go after that blood money. An absolute catastrophe. Also over the weekend at an Oklahoma State game, I believe it was, some lady who wasn't even drinking, probably out of her own mental state, out of her mind, drove into a crowd and killed many individuals, including children, and injured others. People just flying up in the crowd. I mean, just absolutely terrifying. And I had a text from a friend who texted me right away pretty much when it happened. He says, ban cars! Ban cars, Christopher! Yeah, let's ban cars! Cars are killing people! You know, the same argument that Obama makes with gun control. You notice how they even spun that term now? The new spin job on it, this was from O'Malley at the Democratic debate that we saw a week or two ago. He calls it, what was it? Not gun control, but gun safety. <laughs> gun safety. See how they spin all this stuff now? You know, there is no difference between the right and left paradigm. Republicans and Democrats, they're all working for the same people. They're all working for the corporate interests that really run, not just run, but own America. Even outliers, supposed outliers like Bernie Sanders outright endorsing Hillary, Rodham, Benghazi, Gate, Whore, Whitewater, Clinton. Uh, whose husband, by the way, is a sexual predator, committed a felony on the stand lying to the American people about a se having sexual relations with Monica Lewinsky and has multiple, countless other women having accused him of rape in the past. And this is the same bitch that lauds her whole campaign as some kind of feminist, some pro-woman chick who has a husband who's a friggin' sexual predator. They can't keep his dick out of these bitches. I mean, it's absolutely amazing to me. This is the world that we live in. This is the disgusting shit show that makes up America today. War, death, murder, crime, lies, all backed and propelled by the mainstream media bullshit machine, which is exactly why you need to support the underground. You need to support truly unfiltered, uncensored, hard-hitting news. So we are entering this very dangerous time in, in history, very, very dangerous time in the Middle East, where we have this geopolitical chess game occurring. Again, there's a reason that China, the People's Bank of China, just lowered their key benchmark interest rate, I believe for the fifth time, uh, it, just over the last 24 hours. They also lowered the reserve requirement. But they were careful to note this little notation that what they're doing is far different. This is normal, far different than the shenanigans and policies being instituted by the criminal, privately run Federal Reserve here in the United States through quantitative easing and 0% interest rates into infinity. I mean, what they're doing is normal. What we're doing here is insane at the criminally, privately run Federal Reserve, which is owned by private banks, in the mirror image over at the ECB in Europe. Again, all these geopolitical and economic shifts occurring for reason. Because again, as we approach the election in 2016, we know there is no difference between Republican or Democrat. The same reason Joe Biden came on camera, even though we knew this was predictable, he wasn't going to run. Number one, he can't win. And number two, the establishment has already selected Hillary Rodham, Benghazi, Gate, Line, Horse, Scum of the Earth, Clinton. She's already been selected. That's why there was only five candidates at the debate, because she's already been selected by corporate interests. Comparatively, 10 candidates at the GOP debate. 
So as Americans, we need to understand that the great war is upon us, that the next president of the United States will preside over that. Who's the right person for that job? Who has the composure, the intellect, who's aggressive enough? Uh, who should preside over that? You know, I view Donald Trump, although he's a part of the corporate establishment in terms of his corporate interests and him being a billionaire, et cetera, even though he's very low level compared to, you know, the multi-trillionaire banksters, he's still an outsider in regards to the political establishment here in America. Behind closed doors, the people that I know that are, you know, in behind the curtain in the smoking rooms do not want Donald Trump as the next president of the United States. They would much prefer their selection in the name of Hillary Rodham Clinton. And even Ben Carson would be better off. A physician who Trump says lacks energy, but I actually think has some pretty good composure about him, which might be something that we need in this country. Very dangerous time. Trump is right. I don't even think it's an argument. I just think it's the truth. The Middle East would be far better off if the United States hadn't invaded in the first place. Of course, the U.S. knew that they were selling Americans on fear, the lie of faulty intelligence to usher in the invasions of places like Iraq and Afghanistan, because this is the agenda. The wartime president that makes up Barack Obama's administration, not only will he be known and remembered as a wartime president negotiating deals with countries like Iran, but he will be known and his legacy will be an eventual war with that same country. I mean, how ironic and crazy and ridiculous is that? I even read an article this morning that said Saudi Arabia has less than five years before they go broke and run out of cash with oil at $50 a barrel. Another reason that that's been artificially manipulated. I know to take out the frackers, all this stuff, create the artificial supply and demand, but none of this can last long term. Countries like Saudi Arabia, countries like Iran depend on much higher oil prices. It's why I would only expect increased instability in this part of the world. Again, all of this a political chess game. All of this a geopolitical chess game. These economic shifts in power, the rise of the East, and the crumbling West happening for a reason. The integration of these superpower companies that make up Google, that own YouTube, and the parent company Alphabet, companies like Microsoft, Facebook, etc., taking over the world for a reason. Some of you might be familiar with this, others not. I've known this for some time now, I haven't spoken about it publicly. But on Wednesday, Google will be announcing a new paywall on YouTube, whether or not you like it or not. For $10 a month, they'll be delivering ad-free content. Ten bucks! You know, and I find it funny, and I find many of you hypocritical that will complain about supporting the alternative media, complain about supporting the underground, even though you'll run through a drive through today, you'll spend like $10 without even thinking about it, you'll pick up a Starbucks for five bucks, yet you won't contribute, and you'll complain when we ask for your support of $4.95 a month or $49.95 a year and deliver all of this amazing content for you. Continue to grow our platform so that I can stand next to Anderson Pooper and Don Lemon. I can interview the President of the United States, ask him tough questions. I can interview people uh, other politicians and Wall Street criminals. We can demand real answers. We can challenge the official mainstream media narrative and we can stand up and speak up for you. Who's speaking up for you? Who's speaking up for all of our veterans that have died in Iraq and Afghanistan or come back with their legs and arms blown off because they were sold the lie by these creeps like Hillary Clinton that could care two shits about you? that say things like, what difference does it make when people die in Benghazi Gate because they were illegally trafficking guns through CIA liaison on Christopher Stevens, which resulted in his death and several other Americans. Even the father of one of the deceased called her a freaking scumbag over the weekend because they don't give a shit about you. They send you to war and then they piss all over your faces when you come back. You know, we need to grow the underground. We need to grow this grassroots ever effort, you need to support the alternative media. We don't have the luxury of multi-billion dollar budgets like CNN, Fox News, or MSNBC. So I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart, those of you that have supported, supported us from day one since our very first video that was broadcasted from my bedroom, now in this amazing studio in front of a camera, professional lighting, and countless characters behind the scenes that you don't see, men and women that support what we do, to deliver your message, to stand up for you, the little guy, the underground that makes up alternative media television. Thank you so much. 
Get this video out everywhere, make it viral, hard hitting it in your face, and click the link below to support our sponsor.